Welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you the current condition of our home, a rabbit's new watering system, how we reinstalled a fence post, and a chicken coop update. The two halves of our home have been delivered, but they have not been put into place or set up at all. Subscribe to our channel if you don't already to see how well or not so well this process goes. Here's a glimpse of the kitchen. They installed the wrong dishwasher, and also we told them we didn't want a fridge because we're going to use our current one when we move. Hopefully we'll get a refund because they made us pay for these appliances. This is the den. The walls fell and broke during delivery. Supposedly they already ordered replacements and will fix the issue. We're not very happy so far. We hope they can quickly take care of all of the problems. On a brighter note, here are our bunnies! We created this watering system for them that catches rainwater and almost completely eliminates the need to transport water for them. We'll be posting a video soon that goes into more detail on how we put it all together. The home delivery company had to remove a fence post to get our home through the gate and down the driveway. Of course they didn't put it back when they were done. Why would they have done that? There was some very heavy rain the days between delivery and when we were able to get back to the farm to reinstall the post and get the fence put back together. The post hole got filled with dirt, so we had to get it out of there before setting the post into it. We thought the post hole digger would be fine to get the hole big enough. We were wrong. Not only was the hole not deep enough, but it was also too far away from the other post and the boards couldn't reach it. Time to pull out the big guns. Our auger is only 6 inches in diameter and we really needed a 9 or a 12 inch auger to make the hole big enough. We used what we had and made it work. Eventually. After the post was finally back in place, we were able to screw the boards back into the posts. This impact driver has been amazing for the few projects we've used it on so far. We highly recommend it. It took a little finessing to get the boards lined up just right, but we got them after a few minutes and could finish up the job. The vertical boards were pretty easy to attach once we got the horizontal ones in place. Once everything was secure, we needed to fill in dirt around the post. We used the tamper to drag the dirt into the hole before tamping it down and getting it compacted. We still need to go back with a shovel and mound up a little more dirt around the post, but this should hold for the time being. There wasn't any footage of the process, but we completed the subfloor frame for our chicken coop and got the floor installed. It was very secure and strong enough to stand on top. It's about a foot and a half off the ground, so our chickens will be able to easily get under their coop for some shade. Make sure to watch for future videos to see how this project progresses. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and comment below with anything you'd like to ask or share with us. We'll see you next time!